party? Yo, yo, yo. So we got Nisia, super bad, Estrada, defending her titles, man. It's gonna be on Friday, July 28th, Las Vegas, Nevada, on ESPN, ESPN Plus. Top rank court, top rank is Bob Aaron. All those guys, man, it's gonna be a title fight, like I said. It's coming on at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. 7 p.m. Eastern Time, people. All right, let's get into it. The main event, it's going to be a 10-round contest. A straw weight. A straw weight is 105 pounds. If you didn't know, like I said, it's going to be Sinesia, super bad Estrada, versus her opponent, Leonella Yadika. Sinesia Superbad Estrada is 24-0, 9 KOs, 31 years of age. She's orthodox style fighter. She stands at 5'2 with a 63-inch reach. She's from East LA. She's the former WBC light flyweight champ and also the former WBA intern flyweight champ, man. Sinesia Superbad Estrada. Her opponent. Leonella Yadika. Leonella Yadika is 19 and 1, three draws, one KO. I repeat, she got one KO, people. 34 years of age. She's an Orthodox style fighter. She's from Argentina. Honestly, never heard of Leonella Yadika, man. So, honestly, I don't think she stands a chance against Super Bad, man. You know, she got one KO. She might be looking like that girl who had that the mom trunks on, you know, shit and got blazed and they put on, man, she might be looking like her, you know, and, um, yeah, man, yeah, I don't think she on her level. Quick prediction for the fight, I'll say a, I'll say a fifth round KO win for super bad, you know, disposing of her opponent fairly easy. Getting that win, continuing her winning ways, and continuing to put on for women's boxing, man. She wanted a big names in women's boxing. And I really just want her to, you know, get that big fight, you know, to, to put her where she need to be financially, man. Or, you know, those big fights to keep putting her where she need to be financially, you know, because she is, like I said, one of those women, man. Sinesia, super bad Estrada, man. I feel like she going to, uh, like I said, get that fifth, fifth round KO win. Continue her winning ways. All right. Also on the card, we got Andres Cortez versus Xavier Martinez. Andres Cortez is 19-0 with 10 KOs. Xavier Martinez is 18-1 with 12 KOs. It's a lightweight contest. Also, you got Abraham Supernova on the court. You know, he's a... Uh, Lightweight contender. He's 22 and 1, only losing to the um, featherweight champion, Robisi Ramirez. Yeah, so that boy didn't moved up like that. Maybe that's a typo. I don't know if Abraham, you know, moving up to lightweight. I'm going to have to look more into that. Do my homework. <laughs> All right. Um, also on the card, you got Carlos Barderas, man. He's at lightweight for sure. He's at 14 and one with 12 KOs. Only listen, only losing to um, Rene Geron or Geron, however you want to say it. And also you got Dante Benjamin on the card, man, at light heavyweight. He's seven and zero with five KOs. Up and coming, young, talented prospect, man. So if you can check the card out early, get there early, cause. Like I said, it's an ESPN card. ESPN always has the best cards, man. They got the best prospects. Bob Arum is a Hall of Fame. Well, shit. Bob Arum is the GOAT boxing promoter, man. So, yeah. Don't sleep on the undercard. But yeah, it's going to be a hell of a card. Hell of a main event. with super bad, man. Putting on a show. My opinion. But yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. All that shit, people. Rise for the box. Yeah.